Hey folks, Quillithian here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Lords and Villains. This is going to be our final episode of the series of this very lovely game. I have no doubt we're going to be revis revisiting this again in the future as it continues to move along in early access and potentially into release. But for now, I'm feeling very happy with having explored um, a lot of what is in the current stage of the game. We are waiting till the end of the year where presumably we will be sending our taxes to the king and seeing what that looks like. So that's going to be the first time that we will have done that. Uh, recent changes over here, well, uh, we've had a family adopt some new people. We've uh, expanded some of our households and we've had to give away some money to... Uh... <coughs> Damn it! <laughs> and we've had to give away some money, uh, especially to the Amorth family over here, who uh, unfortunately had all their belongings yanked from them as I moved them from uh, one household to another. Uh, I wonder if that, that... It's not necessarily something that has to change. You know, as long as you're aware of it, you can manually organize the, you know, swapping of goods. Okay, which family is low on money this time? It's the Amorth again. They just, they keep spending their money quite quickly. Well, we're going to, like, no. I gave them a ton of money last time. So we gave them a 10 and then a 20 uh, in terms of cash. And then, I mean, presumably they did go and sell it quite quickly. Yeah, 93 copper and one silver rare. They really did use that up very quickly. Um... You do have a market stall. That's probably the problem with this this family. I suspect they're actually having a hard time making money uh, as these butchers over here. And that's probably just a result of me not really knowing how to set up their butchery correctly. But I wonder what happens if they just run out of resources. Do they die? Do they get cranky and leave? Like, what's the deal? But yeah, they don't have anything much to butcher. I mean, because I can't send them out hunting, right? I wonder if we can just do... And there's a sheep over here. I have to read it. I know in the tutorial they talked about some hunting stuff, but I actually don't know... I wonder if they can... They'll, I think they'll capture pigs. Okay, let's set a pig capture job over here. Is there anything I can set up for you? Resource sold out. Again, yeah, a little unfortunate it doesn't tell us what resource that is. There were some wild sheep running around. Could you not capture some more of it? Let's try. We said something like that. Because I know I saw some sheep running around. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because we really would like to get maybe the butchers operating. Looks like all the uh, goods over here have been harvested. Makes sense we're not going to set any during the winter. Oh, someone is pregnant! Who is it? Uh, Gaillard Dro over here. Oh, how nice. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to prepare for them a wooden bed. For their new child. I wonder how long they're pregnant for in this game. Because I don't think their babies are simulated. I think they come out and they're like, you know, they're they're young but fully functional right from the start. So I don't think there's babies, but the question is how long does the pregnancy last in this game? The cow over here belongs to the family of Dorgland. Okay. I mean, there are some critters around. What are you doing? Oh, repairing structures. I guess the structures just take a little bit of damage over time. Something else just sold out over here. Again, don't know what it is. Hmm. Some the food's still there. Cloth is still there. The tools are still there. Oh, the wooden planks are gone. Okay. Well, let's put... Um, let's put another 100 planks up for sale. Okay, animal is tamed. How come this one's a question mark? Okay, this is just uh, the first time maybe it happened, and then here it tells us the deal. Animals can only be kept in selected zones, it doesn't need to be taken care of them. Farmers will take care of cattle, sheep, chickens, and foragers breed pigs. Animals are fed with feeders, fruit fallen from the trees, or wild grass. The end of the life, they're supplied to the butcher. Okay, acquiring animals. A tribe to trade, breeding, or tame from the wilderness. Villagers need permission to own animals, and you can manage the zone priority menu. When the limitations change so that they no longer keep an animal, they'll relocate to a different zone, or sell it to the market. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do over here 
is I will designate a couple of feeders for their pigs. And then a knackery for any animals that might die. <laughs> I'll put it here. And then presumably that's used as part of the, um, the butchering setup. I don't know if they can just butcher random animals somewhere. But animal is tamed. Take care of your new friend, don't let it eat your crops. Alright, so these guys are taming pigs. I probably should have set up the uh, the, the piggy thing a while ago. That might be important. Yeah, that's probably why the butchers are having a hard time. Alright. Ninth day of winter, tenth day of winter. Uh, is every month 15 days? Because it looks like we're just past the halfway mark. So maybe? 15 days, 18 days maybe? I mean, it doesn't look like 20 to me, but I don't know. Who knows? I don't think there's another way to access the calendar. I'm not certain. So you're still pregnant over here. It's a new day. Ooh, kind of laggy at the start of a new day. I don't know why that was. The screen sort of stuttered a little bit. Hmm. Are you still doing some repairs over here? I wonder if different walls need different amounts of repairing. Like, um, if maybe a stone house needs less. And the straw, or the hay walls maybe need the most? I don't know. Hello, Pigum. Stop poking me. Animal's tamed. Is it another pig? It is. And over here, too. We got lots of pigs on this map. I wonder if those sheep left the map. But why wouldn't one of them have been grabbed? Because we, we already had this set to two. So I'm not sure why it didn't do that. Unless... Do we have, um... Oh, wait a minute. No, I was, I was clicking here. This is the bit set to four sheep. I don't think there's anything else to set up for that. I don't know, maybe it just wasn't available. Maybe the sheep belonged to the caravan? Maybe that was it. Maybe the sheep were following a caravan out. That would sort of make sense, but yeah, we have a lot of wild pigs. Can I, like, forcibly butcher them? I mean, I can lower the priorities. Yeah, I don't know. Although it implies it'll sell to market, as opposed to butcher. No idea. Oh well. Animal tamed. We got some more snow coming down. It is really pretty. Oh, I think you are repairing the buildings over here. Mm-hmm. As far as I know, we're still good in everything. So I think it was showing up on yellow. Looks okay. We just have to make sure... I don't know if I can, like, prevent my family from eating the pumpkins or the rice grain. I mean, at some point we're going to be done taming pigs, right? Because I did set the limit of, of six. I don't know what's more reasonable. Maybe I should set a limit of 20. Maybe we should never stop taming them. Maybe we should set it to 99 and just leave it go. I mean, then they might not be able to eat enough, but... Depending on how uh, how often we can restock the feeders, um, it I, clearly the pigs do eat like the grass. I mean, it said it in the thing. We've seen them do it, and if those trees were around, I think they do regrow on their own and they drop fruit, and the pig will will get to eat that. But especially during the winter, I suspect they'll be quite re um, reliant on the feed. Even in the summer, it might you know we might not have enough feed for them. Okay, you are going crazy with those pigs. That's gotta be number six, right? In fact, I'm kind of surprised it's not over six at this point. So if we get another message at this point about taming, I have to assume that at some point something was butchered. So we can use that as kind of an indicator of that process maybe happening. Still doing some fishing. It's nice that the uh, these little lakes here, wow, barely a lake, more like a pond. Uh, it's nice that they don't freeze over. I don't know why that happens. Maybe they're very, they're very salty. They're very briny little ponds. It's great that fish come, they're already preserved, you know? You, you don't have to salt them or dry them or anything like that. You just hook them and they're good to go. Stick around forever on your shelf. So those messages sometimes are selling. So that's selling over there. Sometimes I think it might be stalking the shop. Because so I think there's like down arrows when maybe they stalk it. And then the up arrows is people gaining it from the shopping. I don't know. Is that the one you just tamed? Or did you tame another one? It must have been one you have tamed earlier. Okay. 
And we do have a hide over here. We don't have a leather worker. Again, resources sold out. I don't know which. I don't know if I'll care. But yeah, it, I suppose it might be safe. As long as it's not something I need to trade to the king, it might be safe to literally list everything. Because, again, I'm hoping that my family still has access to what I was shopping. Oh, shit, I don't have enough planks. I don't think I realized that I was overselling my planks here. And those are the ones selling immediately. Uh-oh! I'm gonna seize. Now, is that gonna make the family really cranky? Caravan arrived. I mean, I suppose I could have bought some there. So I don't currently have the planks in here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So they they have to be physically moved. But yeah, I don't know if, like, family happiness is a thing, how that works. But I clearly shouldn't put any more planks for sale. Well, first of all, if anyone wants to buy planks, they should buy it over there. I mean, I'm not offering them for free, right? They were set to market. I mean, they have a price. Market is set here. I could sell things to the caravan if I wanted extra cash, but no. I'm willing to sell uh, uh, tax 15 straw, so, or hay. Straw. There's a difference. Um, so I don't have to worry about selling a little bit of it. Caravan. Man, the caravan really doesn't stay very long. Do they, like, what's with the exclamation marks? Do they talk? Are they cranky? What does this mean? Oh. Yeah, so are these the pardios? Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. The, the time I saw the sheep, that's what it was. It was those sheep leaving. So I could buy more. So that we could get this going again, but I, I don't know if that's necessary, especially with these pigs hopefully being productive. Wink, wink, wink. Thirteenth day of winter. Yeah, it must be. Oh, it could be. It could be fourteen days. It could be two weeks per season. That's possible. I haven't gotten any more complaints about a family needing money, although it could just be that. You know, nothing has changed, so they're not bugging me about it again. See your family inventory. All right, about two silver worth of stuff, which isn't much. Overall, our moods are okay. I mean, I think that's just a sleeping bar. That's not a mood, right? Yeah. Hopefully the farmers aren't too cranky about the fact that I seized some of their material. Yeah, you really have to interact with the caravans, like, immediately. They're not here very long. Alright, 14th day of winter. Curious to see how those taxes are going to work out. <laughs> so what are you doing over here? Well, you might have been refilling this. So it's the auto, I guess... Oh, you choose what type of animal can eat there? I wonder if they have different feed. But I guess you could use this as a way to prioritize or make sure that all the animals get fed properly. Here, it doesn't really matter because we have sort of a ranching monoculture. Look at this big boy. Those look, yeah, the pigs definitely have different sizes. Presumably linked to age as we fatten them up. Some other resource sold out. I mean, I guess it's good. Oh, do I have roofs turned on? Hang on, turn that off. Oh, I was going to say, why do I have the random wooden wall? But that's right, the, we couldn't roof everything. And a lot of these places don't have roofs. Actually, you can see, because the weather's getting in here. I, it doesn't look like the people care terribly much. I'm going to wait until the taxes are processed completely before I roof anything else, because if people, like, lose... If, if, you know, we run out of resources, although if we're not selling them, I guess it's not a big deal. But, yeah, I'm going to wait anyway. I'm just worried about screwing things up. Alright, it's the 15th day of winter. So maybe this is the last day? Maybe this is the 16th day. Was I just looking at the time before when I was trying to figure out where we were and things? No. This is the hour hand, that's the day hand. There's no minute hand. Okay. That does go around twice. Which makes sense, like 12 hours per high noon. But yeah, so this is our last day. So 15 days per season. I think I did see that somewhere at some point. Oh, look, 
of the weather's improved. I mean, it's still probably a little bit chilly, but not too much. I love this. What we need is a little stand here that sells hot chocolate and uh, glue wine for the adults. Mmm. Oh, delicious. I'm trying to remember if the... Because there's glue wine and there's something else. One of it is like German, one is like Swedish. And I've had them at like Christmas markets for both and they're just wonderful. I can't remember which is which. I feel very disappointed by myself right now. But yeah, little, little hot drinks. One sweet for the chillin' and one boozy for the grown-ups. Mmm, and then you sit by the fire in the snow. Well, right now, I mean, again, it's kind of cool. The night, the, the, the sun sets early at this time of year. You, know, you sit here, you watch the sun go down. The stars are so bright during the winter as well. Just because, um, I don't know if it's true in both hemispheres. Um, but in the northern hemisphere, there are more bright stars in the winter than in the summer. It makes it look like the sky is clear in the winter, but it's not quite accurate. Okay, so we haven't actually paid our taxes, like our own taxes of the king. This tax payment for the family to us. And we've got some poor family, and a child was born. It is the Dro family. There we go, Robert Dro. So they're born in, they're teenagers. They're born as teenagers. Okay. But yeah, I don't know when the, uh... Maybe it really is for the end of 1401. Man, this guy's gotta eat a sandwich. It's a good thing we're sending him some resources, because he looks really, really overly thin, like gaunt. And other adjectives for being underfed. I like how they have little wagons. For carrying the logs around. Makes sense, the logs are heavy. Well, I'm a little disappointed that the king thing didn't happen. Maybe it happens partway through the year. Is there... Where's our little instruction book? Mm, there's a little help button somewhere. No, seriously. Where is it? Do you save? Settings? Credits? Oh, tutorial book. Um... I mean, is it under tax? Kingdom tax. First tax request for your kingdom always comes in autumn, and you have exactly one year until the next autumn. Ah! Oh, shit. So I have tons of time to deal with this. That would be trivially easy. So it is once per year, but just not at the start of the year. Okay. Well, we're not going to keep going until a tax payment, unfortunately, um, because I do... We, we are going to wrap it up here. Um, it is a really pretty game. I love the lighting. I think this is going to be a stupendous game. I feel right now, at least for me, still feels a little on the content light side, but it's very enjoyable to play. It's actually quite good, like how much it sort of manages on its own. It's really good for sort of this sort of idle, um, casual kind of play that things build up. We haven't had a new family join us for a while. Maybe, maybe you only get a certain number of new families until the taxes start, and then you get your new family specifically through the request system which we can't afford yet anyway, so maybe we're sort of stuck with what we've got as is until we do the first, you know, king taxes, kingdom taxes. I'm not sure. Or maybe did I, do I have something not set right with my inn? I suppose that's possible. Still going to complain about this some more, but not being clear about what's selling out. I mean, at this point, plenty of things are selling out. But yeah, clearly the tax situation is going to be fine. It would be nice if you could bundle it up and send it up early. Like, I'd love to send the taxes now so I could get the favor now and request more families now. Right? Why do I have to wait until fall? I should just be able to send it. And then I, I, I can be sure that I don't accidentally consume the resources in a stupid way. Right? Send it away when I've got enough. I know I won't suddenly run out. That would be a pretty good idea. The villagers starving. I'm betting... What's the pair of that are starving? Really? Yeah, you have no money. And, yeah, you don't really need any food. You also don't have a kitchen. Well, I'm feeling quite bad about that, so... Oh, yeah, there is a temperature map mode. Okay. Let's set you up a little kitchen. So, we need a cooking table. A wooden block. Here, I'll just put it up against the wall here. Actually, I can put something in there and that would work okay. Um, cauldron. A and then I'll just give you some shells to store things. 
one block cauldron kitchen. I think that's all you need for that. We'll give you a barrel. I'll put it outside for some raw foodstuffs. And then what I'm going to do uh, for the pair ops is I'm going to give them some money. So they can buy themselves some cooking ingredients and other things. Oh, we have a lot of money. Tell you what, have a full gold. Because I want to see how this works. And I said there was a follow mode. I mean, it's not that hard to follow them. But they clearly need more stuff as well so that they can actually build this stuff. But they should have a lot of money. There's like a little bundle waiting for them at their front door. When they get up in the morning, they're going to go a little bag full of coins. Maybe just a single gold coin. Or maybe, you know, we made change. But these guys have all the money they should hopefully need to set themselves up. Oh, you can actually see the, de the decay on the walls. All right, you over here are going collecting things. Okay, that was just on the ground. Col ah, there you go, collecting purchase resources. I've lost track of you. Oh, you're over here. So you're purchasing some things from the central market, and then you're gonna store it over here. It'd be cool if I told you what they were carrying. But in here, you might have bought some yarn from something, I don't know. Oh, no, you probably picked up the money. You picked up the gold, so now you gotta change. You can see, yeah, like, they, I gave them so much more money than everyone else. Now you're gonna go purchase a meal from the inn. All right, good, so you're no longer gonna starve, you're eating. Now you're gonna collect some more things from somewhere. And purchasing, okay, so you go get your gold, then you're gonna go make your purchases. Oh, you bought enough things that you actually have to have a wagon for it. I can't click on the wagon. Your change is going in there, and you're storing some wood and some planks over here. Okay. This is the other pair off. Yeah, who's purchasing some meals? Yeah, you're going to go repair a structure. I mean, look, at their house is falling apart. They were in really, really rough shape. So you're going to go purchase your own meal here at the inn. Eat it by the fire. Very nice. Collect things. I'm betting he's going to go collect some coins and then make some more purchases. Oh, no, it's wood. Ah, for building. Excellent. Yeah, they're both going in building now. Lovely. And then that's it. That was a hell of a day you guys just had. Well, folks, we're going to wrap it up here, and this will be the end of this Let's Play. Again, I am eager to revisit this, uh, maybe in a few more months after a few more early access patches. Or, for all I know, there's going to be a big, giant patch for this later this month, and we'll be playing again very, very quickly. But that will be the end of this run here. Thank you very much for watching. Again, thank you very much for your patience. Well, we took a little bit of break over the holidays and early January while my life was very busy and chaotic. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.